uh, off the point slightly. Yesterday, <laughs> social historian Ruth Goodman looked at how Elizabeth I became uh, the poster girl for corsets after she began wearing them in her Virgin Queen Completely court. Completely off point. Yeah. Uh, today, she finds out how an altogether less restrictive set of smalls helped save our nation's modesty. Mm. Knickers. Have you noticed how they're always plural? It's never just one, is it? I mean, a bra is a bra. But knickers? Briefs, boxers, bloomers, whatever sort they are, you've just got to say knickers. Well, the answer probably lies in the fact that the earliest knickers were actually in two bits called drawers. They were two pieces of cloth drawn together. In Wales, they call these Everettis. <laughs> Rosemary Hawthorne is the knicker expert. She even has a one-woman show about them. You really get down and answer the calls of nature. <laughs> you know. You know. Easy access. Yeah, undoubtedly. <laughs> and, of course, you know, Mr Thomas Crappers would have been a very wide, expansive bit of porcelain to sit on. Yes. And sitting there, you know, in splendour on your throne. With all those petticoats and things, you need yes. to be able yes. to get... Yes, crinoline cages, corset over the top, you know, and you've got a little bit of modest decoration. So this really makes yeah. sense of why it's a pair of knickers. Yes, a, a pair. A, a pair of drawers, a pair of knickers, yeah. And this is so different. These, of course, are if you like, your first pair of knickers, or knickerbockers, as they were called, and turn them around. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> the trap door. The trap oh, door. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so, knickers got sewn up towards the end of the 19th century. But where did it all start? Boys' bottom wear begins with a breech cloth. No difficult sewing, just a rope about the waist. You start by tucking it into the back. This is not going to be glamorous, by the way. The other corner and tucks through the front. And then with a small amount of jiggery-pokery, a little bit of adjusting, a bit of rolling around, and then we go. So if men have got it covered, what about women? For hundreds of years, no knickers at all. They wore layer upon layer. Shift stays, petticoats, stockings, but anything else was considered unclean. Right up until the reign of Queen Victoria, Queen Victoria's knickers. And these are about 1850, and I should think Albert may well have clapped eyes on these, <laughs> you know. She actually wore them. These. She did. And what is interesting about Victoria, that it's during her reign, girls all took to knickers. They became uh, respectable. Yes. Without knowing it, poor love, she was a sort of founder of some sort of religious knicker movement, really. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, it all changes during the Edwardian times. Edward, of course, was totally different. Uh, uh, chalk from cheese from his mum. And I think he'd had enough of the starch drawers. So he, <laughs> he liked it all a bit more fluid, a bit more flexible. And, um, and there's certainly clothes become prettier, feminine and silky and sensuous. All that is there. Of course, only the rich could afford luxurious silk undies. The rest of us would have had to put up with simple cotton. That is, until the development of synthetic fibres. In the late 1920s, when artificial silk was introduced in the market, it really brought style, sexiness and comfort to the masses and allowed designers to really explode the creativity and bring lots of new knicker shapes, choice and styles to the masses. It's got stretchability. And recoverability. Stretch the difference. Nylon was the next new material on the high street. First used as a replacement for silk stockings, it began a man-made knicker revolution. Shall we look at some modern knickers? Yes, let's. Oh, do let's, let's do let's. Let's. funny things in here. Oh, I love these. These oh, are rather fun. Oh, I'll <laughs> top those. Magic knickers. Come in a pot with a lid, keeps them fresh. <laughs> oh my goodness! Da -da. Bad as a roll on, that is. <laughs> well, they are magic. Oh, and then we have the topical knickers. Oh. Oh, <laughs> bless their hearts. <laughs> I mean, I love Kate and William. Yeah. But I wouldn't want an underwear with them on it. 